and welcome back to Regular Man Ministry, where we celebrate God's gift of masculinity, and the only thing that's toxic is being ashamed of it. Today's devotional is entitled Money, Youth, and Power, and we take it from Luke 18, 25. It's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Our desire to attain and maintain money, youth, and power is a part of our sinful nature. These things can have a a terrible hold and a terrible grip on us, and they deter us from loving and trusting God wholeheartedly. A good example of this is the rich young ruler. We call this man rich young ruler because he's described as rich in Mark, young in Matthew, and as a ruler in Luke. This young and rich religious leader asks Jesus what he can do in order to go to heaven. Jesus tells him that he must not murder, steal, or lie, and he must honor his parents. The young man tells Jesus that he's obeyed all of these commands since his youth. And when Jesus heard this, he said, There's still one thing you need to do. Go and sell everything you own. Give the money to the poor, and you'll have riches in heaven. Then come, be in, then come and be my follower. When the man heard this, he was very sad because he was very rich. Jesus saw how sad the man was, so he said, It's terribly hard for rich people to get into God's kingdom. Jesus goes on to illustrate the power that wealth has on men and how only with God's help we can loosen the grip of these selfish desires on our lives and properly follow Jesus. Now, many people would have been confused by Jesus telling a rich man to give his money away. Traditional Jewish wisdom held that great riches were a sign of God's favor and blessing, while sickness and poverty were a sign of God's curse. Jewish tradition had replaced the reciprocal love for God with the selfish love of money. Money may have the ability to open many doors here on earth, but as we see from the rich young ruler, it also has the ability to shut the door of our hearts on God. This man had youth, power, respect, money, influence. He was an important guy in the community. His position afforded him a luxurious lifestyle and many earthly possessions, but he was still searching for more. He was unfulfilled, empty. He allowed all of these things to take God's place in his heart. When Jesus described the requirements of the law to this young man, he specifically addressed the commandments regarding people and their actions. He didn't say anything about the commandments regarding God and man's heart towards God. Jesus already knew where his his heart was, and it wasn't with God. The rich young ruler's problem wasn't that he had a lot of wealth and uh, power and youth. It was that he loved it more than God. You see, it's not a sin to have money or to have nice things, but it is a sin to love those things more than God. So make sure that God is valued in your heart above all else, including money, youth, and power. God bless you. See you next time.